you, sir. Thank you, Madam President. My good colleague from your county, you can rest assured there will at least be some debate on this issue, because I will not be supporting the motion in front of us. When you look at the fiscal note of this bill, which is $50 million over two years, above and beyond the irresponsibility of that, above and beyond the fact that there is no possibility that we have that money and it would be a fool's errand for us to even pretend, is the morality of it. Because as we have just passed a budget a week ago in which we cut $200 million from many of the neediest in this state, the poorest in this state, the disabled in this state, the working families of this state, as we cut $200 million, what this does in one fell swoop is decide to shift $50 million to the wealthiest in this state. Now, I can understand us being balanced. I can understand if we're going to have to share the pain, it should go across the board. And if we have to share in the riches, that should go across the board. But what you would be voting on right now is to shift $50 million to the wealthiest. Unless you think I am referring to the wealthiest as people who you might consider to be middle class, understand that what this deals with is people with over a million dollars. So I think it's fair for us to say those are some of the wealthiest of our state. You must have assets over a million dollars before this begins to kick in. For us to decouple, for us to recouple with the federal, you will be providing a tax break for those with over a million dollars. We're not talking about middle income, working class tax relief. We're talking the wealthiest. And you will be shifting from those who are the neediest to them. And not only will you be doing that, you'll be doing it less than a week after we cut $200 million from those who are the poorest and the neediest and the disabled and our seniors in this state. What message does that send? Madam President, this bill is completely fiscally irresponsible and I would say morally irresponsible as well. And I strongly encourage my colleagues to vote it down.